welcome back to the channel. We've been to Tamworth, as you'll have seen in the last vlog. We said we were headed to Tamworth. We found somewhere to sleep and we are now moving on. But the reason we went to Tamworth is we were looking at getting a new mattress and we've got one. Yeah, we bumped into the guys from Made to Measure Mattresses, didn't we, down at the NEC? Yeah. So. We've just called in to see them at their uh, shop. Lovely shop. Lovely fella called Ben. Thank you very much for being so helpful, Ben. And we've now got one on order. So that should be coming sometime, either next week or the weekend after, week after. So we'll be back down to pick that up when it's ready. Right, we found a really, really nasty petrol station, haven't we? Well, it's not, it's a service, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we? We're still, where are we? Um, near, near to Boston, aren't we? Near Boston, just outside Boston. I see. And we, had, we couldn't find anywhere to park. So there's some HGV parking, but it had a barrier across it. So we were just going to park in, at the, corner. in the corner out of the way so I can get my laundry in. And there's a lady come out and said you can park in there in the HGV place for two hours for free. Yeah, so we need to make sure it's no more because I've actually charged it. So. Yeah, probably. So my washing's in. I've got that in. That was £13, but it's a, I'd say it's about two and a half loads there. Um, and that's washing liquid and conditioner chucked in as well. So that's 40 minutes. But first of all, we need to get a McDonald's because... I don't know, I think your stomach sounds like Chico growling, know, doesn't it? Is, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> so let's go and get Mackie D's. And more importantly, we're going to take a laptop in there, aren't we? Don't oh, we? yeah. Today's video. Because he's driving me nuts, people. We need to get this internet sorted because it's, it's just not happening, is it? So, yeah, let's go. So we're going to make the most of our visit to McDonald's. We're going to jump on the free Wi-Fi here. And obviously when we're doing so, we want to make sure we're nice and secure and nobody's pinching our details and I'd like to thank today's video sponsor Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN and in 2023 it's something we should have on all our devices. It enables a secure network between you and the internet. I bet you didn't realise that when you're connected to the internet via say McDonald's or Weatherspoons you're wide open to hackers taking your details and using them as they please. But if you have Surfshark, you can turn this on at the click of a button and it will immediately protect your data and stop any criminal activity. A VPN also allows you to change your virtual location to pretty much anywhere in the world. How does this help, I hear you ask? Well, it enables me to access Netflix or Amazon Prime and watch all the top movies and series that we can't get in this country. So you can access American Netflix, for example. Plus, you can access cheaper flights, even cheaper ferry crossings. Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use the VPN on multiple devices with just one account. We use Surfshark when we're doing our online banking and also our social media pages and it gives us peace of mind knowing that our details are safe and secure. So if you're looking for something that will protect your identity and data online, then you might want to give Surfshark a try. Click the link in the description, quote on tour, and get three months free. So we've arrived at Woodhall Spa mm. over in, is it Lincolnshire? Yeah, yeah, yeah Lincolnshire. <laughs> Purposely come here today as we've been waiting to meet a couple for a long, long time we've been friends with on YouTube. Yeah. And they are called Martin and Sharon. Now, Martin and Sharon have a fantastic YouTube channel called Butler's Empire. Butler's Empire. And they are just like us. Funny and genuine. And we, we absolutely can't wait to meet them. They're coming to pick us up now. And they're taking us out for the day. We're going for Chinese, aren't we? No, we're not. Right. So, yeah, come with us. And we'll introduce to Martin and Sharon. And get ready for a few laughs along the way. Chico's coming with us as well. And as per usual, it's raining. Whoa. We've had a lot of rain and it's forecast even more and the rivers as you saw already are quite high aren't they? Yeah and plus we've got some bad news for you guys. What's the bad news we've had this morning Mark? Whitby's cancelled. Oh yeah. Uh, the field that where everyone goes on, the Abbey, Abbey Shaw field behind the Abbey up at the top of the hill is absolutely... Quagmire. Yeah, it's bad, really bad. So the group that we were going has uh, made the decision to cancel and I think there'll be a lot more cancelling as well because the farmer's probably just going to close the field, isn't they? Yeah. But we'll, we'll find somewhere else to go, don't worry. Look who's here. Look who's here. Here they are. This is a gruesome twosome we've been on about. How are, are you? Are you alright, my love? How are you? Oh, right. look at him, little fella. Hey? Sharon oh, Martin, Martin me cheek oh, at long good. last. Yeah, alright, bud. Oh, Thank he's you. so dizzy. Oh, oh, right. We've got locked in the gap, we can't oh. get him. There's a little oh. thing on there, and a little rope. Oh, yeah, it's like a little rope, isn't it? Rope on it. We're going to catch up with him and we'll see you in a bit. Have 
Have you got Chico in your bag? Chico's here. There he is. You nice and, nice and dry? We're not. It's raining. I'm gonna go and see a big plane cheeks. What kind of plane is this? Is it a Lancaster? Lancaster bomber. And they've actually got it running. Wow. We're in East Kirby at the minute with Sharon and Martin from Butler's Empire. You've kindly brought us over here to come and have a look at this. Watch the mud. Yeah, I know I'm saying be careful. Be careful. Look, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't. Are you trusted with Chico? I'm gonna say you've got precious cargo on there. Oh, it's going, look. Hi. Oh, he's hanging out as well. There's a lot of people come out today in the rain just to come and have a look at this plane. Lancaster restoration. Now Martin's just been telling us they're trying to get it airborne and it should be done by 2026. It's a big plane, is that? <laughs> is he steaming up, Lisa? Are you steaming up, Cheeks? Look at him no, look. He's not. no, he's quite he happy it. there. <laughs> Loving it. It's like he's in one of them cockpits, isn't it? It's right. like he's in the Lancaster cockpit with a gun. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> hey, we could, yeah, we could make it look like that. Put a we? gun, have him on a gun, go on. Explain to me, Sharon, exactly where we are. We're at East Kirby Aviation Centre. It's a lot to do with the Second World War relics and all that. It's really interesting. This was, yeah, it was an airbase. So this this wasn't what's supposed to be on today, was it? So you didn't know it was no, going to be on. No, the taxi run. No, we know the Lanks always here, but that one doesn't fly. No, I'm just been saying 2026. They're looking for trying to get it back in the air. What are you ordering? Free coffee. Can you do me oh, sorry, chicken fried rice? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one of these, please. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> you make me wear it, don't you? You make me wear you're it? You're already in a big one today. <laughs> I know, you've already had a, that's what it's called, isn't it? A big un. I thought it was un. just like an appetizer, just to get me yeah. indigestion going. Well, me digestion. Juices, juices going on. Which one's Mark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look like you. The different stages of Mark. Yeah. I'm more sexy though. We're going in with cameras equipped because Martin last came in, he started feeling like I could feel something, a presence. Yeah, this was, we've been here before. Uh, <laughs> and <it> out. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. <laughs> last time I was here, folks, was like, a couple of years ago, Shell, and I walked through here and I had a very funny feeling and it was icy cold as well. And when you come out the other side, fine, work that one out. I'm going to do it again. Go on, let's see if the cameras pick anything up. I the strange feeling. Is it me or has it got cold? It is cold. Is that a mirror? No, it's a sense of the plane. It's cold here. It's really cold here. Really cold here. So we've nipped round to Martin and Sharon's, they've asked us round for a cup of tea and this is the famous Butler's Empire Kitchen, look Ooh. at this. You're in it. But look at Chico. Chico this is coming. Chico and Merlin and this is Happy Merlin. Happy Merlin, we got you a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> well. What, to chew on? <laughs> Merlin. The only way Chico could harm Merlin is if he gets stuck in his throat. Yeah. <laughs> Merlin doesn't normally mix with kiss. dogs, does he, Shao? Give him a kiss. He's normally a bit boisterous, kiss, kiss. isn't he? <laughs> Do you know what a kiss is? Look. Give him a kiss. Oh. No. They've been ever so good together, aren't oh, they? they are. I'm shocked. If you haven't been on Butler's Empire, this is the famous kitchen where Sharon and Martin. That's my favourite Kasori. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you're into air fryers, my God, you're going to love this channel. Yeah. And these two are Who's just hilarious from start to finish. From start to oh, finish. I thought we were quite serious actually, Sharon. No, you are never serious. <laughs> <laughs> you want some hilarious entertainment, tune into Butler's Empire for definite. 
So we've got a gathering of people because it's tea time, Lisa, oh, yeah. isn't it? It's not pizza time. No, and this... Mar what Martin and Sharon have done. I know, we've yeah. been Very treated. naughty. Well, Again. we had to, we had to do it, I'm sorry. And we need to show you what we're eating, aren't we? Look at that, look at Lisa's rice there. That looks really good. That's special, special fried rice. Like that, yeah. You're on the good old... Chicken's balls. Balls of chicken. Sharon's got, what you got, Chef? I've got prawn balls. She's got the prawn balls. Look at all this, are you? Mm. So, we're going to get tucked into this, aren't we? And where's it from, Martin? Chinese shop. <laughs> Chinese takeaway. The Golden Dragon, no, Golden Phoenix. I Golden think Phoenix here Woodle in Woodle Spa. Spa. On sea. On sea! Way! Yeah, it is, isn't it? Again, we're nearly flooded, aren't we, again, with all the rain? But yeah, never mind. It's a bit bad. Chinese are open, so we're happy. Well, let's get in. So we're just back from Martin and Sharon's. Oh my goodness, I can't thank you enough, guys, for guys. entertaining us all day. Absolute genuine people. Please again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Butler's Empire, yeah. you'll find it here now. Head over to their channel because they are an absolutely fantastic couple. So entertaining and genuine. And we like Chinese as well. Yes, <laughs> and thank you for the Chinese, guys. Thank it was you. gorgeous. Good morning and welcome to Spain. <laughs> no, it's not really. It Still in Lincolnshire. It. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're off into Woodall Spa this morning. We're going to go and have a look and see what it's got. Mm. What's Woodall Spa famous for? Dam busters, aren't Yeah, it? apparently something to do with the dam busters here. There's a lot of RAF activity around here as well. We see lots of, uh, was it RAF Coningsbury? Coningsbury, yeah, yeah. If you like the your planes jets. and watching the fighter jets, they're over here all the time apparently practicing. But the dam busters were something to do with it. You know the big balls that they threw at the, at the dam? Well, there's a prototype one here that they never used, so I'm, I'm dying to have a look at mm. that, see just how big they are. Um, and yeah, they've actually got... Like chicken balls last night. <laughs> and they've actually got something called a kinema in the mm. woods. Now, it's a cinema, and we're not sure why it's called a kinema. It's a K instead of a C, isn't it? Yeah. We'll have to look into that and let you know. I'm going to yeah. go and see what Woodall Spa has in, for, in store for us. We're actually stopping on a place called Jubilee Park. Yeah. And oh my goodness, this place has got everything. And at this time of year, the class it as an air de service. It's part of the Campra campaign, isn't it, for it is. airs in, in the UK. So it's, it's worth coming. And actually, £10 a night without electric, isn't it? And it's only 15 with electric. Yeah. So we should have been at Whitby. Yes. This weekend that you've seen this on a Sunday, we should have already been there, but we got a message from the organisers. Uh, the farmer wasn't happy with the field. We've seen the pictures. Absolutely muddy as hell, were not it? all right, but the problem is, it's like for us with our motor on three and a half tonne, if we sink that far down and we get to towed off and the actual ground's pushing against the tanks and things underneath, we're going to cause some damage, aren't we? So. Yeah, so we're not going on a mud fest. Um, so we're going to have to find somewhere else to go, hence why we've stopped here for a bit longer. I'll have to map something out for you guys to watch in your next vlog. <laughs> I have just got another bargain. Three pairs of new pants. Yeah. £7.25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. No, not new. At all. all brand new. <laughs> 7 25 Age UK, all half price on ladies and men's. Now that I've told Mark it's even half price, he's gone in now to have a look. <laughs> Find out. No, it's a bit small, isn't it? Yeah, there's not much. I've got a lot of room, so I can't be really bothered when it's busy. I've got the backpack on, you see, so yeah. I don't really advise you need to be. So. Oh, I'm, I'm happy as Larry. For shop, £7.25 for three pairs of pants. Mm, sure. What else have we got along here? Hardware shops. Mm. It's a lovely little village, Woodall Spa. Lovely little high street. We have spied a cafe that's doing really, really cheap food as well, so we might just nip in there because it closes at two. Polka dots. Look at this. Oh, I'll we'll have to go in here. There are all sorts in here. He's going to kill me. Well, we've come to the conclusion there's not much crime in Woodall Spa because of the police station. The cutest little police station we've ever seen, isn't it? It looks like a toilet block, doesn't it, that? <laughs> I don't think they'll be happy with you and you saying that. And we're just going a bit further up the high street. Just been in the RSPCA and there's nothing there for us. No, or Chico. Or Chico, you got nothing. 
though the mad thing is, when you look at it from back there, it doesn't look that small because it's got a large wide fronted shot, but it's narrow, isn't it? Is that it then? Is that, is that what you see? Yeah, yeah, what you see is what you get, isn't it? But they've not got a lot of sizes in there then, they can't yeah. store them all, can they? Well, it goes on here, it's not that small, it's narrow. Yeah. Just spotted this, I don't know whether you can see him. I have Norman the Gonk in our um, van, but he's like a summer one with bees on it. Yeah. They've got an autumn one. Yeah. He's well sweet, he looks like an author to me. Everyone's got all the pumpkins out and stuff, aren't they, ready for Halloween? It's exciting. So we've just tried to self. I've got a Be Belgian bun and you got two arse fingers, didn't you? Can't wait for them after we have coffee. I've been waiting till we show you what they're like, you know, if mm. we remember, we don't eat them. Well, that's the problem, every time we say we'll show you, we always eat it before we show you. I'm looking at this, you know when we talk about phone boxes <laughs> and stuff? Wow! This is a cash machine, it's been Look converted. at this, it's normally a defib, isn't it, yeah. in there? So it's a full cash machine, it's still, still retained It's a full, some of full it. telephone box, you mean? Yeah, but then, then on the side, you also get a telephone, so that's... Oh, that's Silent good, isn't it? It's, yeah. not, it's still quite old, but it shows you what... Does it actually work? Yeah, Can I just listen? Oh God, it's got a ringtone. That's well weird. 60p mark minimum. Is it? Did it used to be like 5, 10p? I don't know, but we used to have numbers. We used to, when we first got mobile phones, we were young. We used to ring pay phones when people stood near them. Yeah. Near them and I don't even know what number is on this one. Hello, who is that? I know, I don't it ever. Hello? <laughs> Minimum for 60p. 60p to be even make a phone call, and I bet you don't get long for that, do you? But when you were a kid and you used to go to pay phones, you used to go to pay phone and go into where the return coins is and see if anyone would yeah, any money. Yeah, little dangly thing, you used to go and see if any money had come yeah, through. So you could get some tweets from shop. <laughs> now we're thinking this used to be a garage, you can see it back there. Yeah. And there's like some old pumps here, isn't They're there? They're piped in, look, actually. Oh, aren't yeah, look at that. And that one's still piped in. So over. would you drive your car up to this and then? Fill your car up. Uh, two stroke mark, two yeah. stroke service. Yeah, that had been like the fuel of the oil and wasn't it for years and years and years ago. Wow, that's in the Look at this one, this one here. Yeah, and this one's still piped up. Right? It's a cafe now, Mark, in there. Uh, that's an old one, isn't it? That. That's where you put the nozzle. It's a bit seized up. Right? <laughs> yeah, you'd have pulled it here, wouldn't you, off the street and got your fuel. Yeah. And this would have been the front. It might have been a repair garage or something, maybe. Might have been. Woodlands Cafe. Oh yeah, there's a good cafe in there. Yeah. More gonks. They're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Gonk in year. Just saw something a bit um, strange. Found a lovely church. Methodist church, isn't it? This one. It's a Methodist. But look at this over the hedge. I'm not sure what that's about. You think it looks like a Chinese dragon, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it does. It just looks like something like that. They perhaps do Chinese food in here, maybe on a Wednesday, when every else is closed. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't found the Weber Spoons. I'm pretty sure in the village, Drake such never as here. Woodall Spoon, they're not going to have a Weber Spoon, is it? So. They have brasseries in Woodall Spoon. They don't have Weber Spoons. It's nice here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's nice and peaceful, feels perfectly safe. Yeah, it's lovely. We started saying that since we went to a town just down the road a while ago, didn't we? What, Grimsby? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I no, mean, it's nothing like Grimsby here, it's lovely. It is nice. Really is nice. Friendly is the word. And we'd Safe recommend and you come and have a look, wouldn't we? If, you, if you're in the area, pop in and have a look. If you're in your motor home, stop on the site where we are, Jubilee Park. Yeah, give them your support because we have been a camper, like we say, we've only yeah. ever seen one of a camper. That were up in Scotland, weren't it? At this time of the year as well, £10 a night. Like I was saying to you, you could have a week on here and seven nights. I don't you won't feel it, would you? Nights. I think it's a maximum booking on lights, two. Two. But we but went to see them at the thing and said, look, we really... It is quiet, so... We really want to stop and we've done another two nights, but then we're going to move on, aren't we? Yeah. We'll give them your support. We need more camper sites around the UK, more Ayers. Let's get in touch with France and Germany, everywhere else that do it. Well, all these... I mean, we're spending a little bit of money today, aren't we? But, yeah, we're, we're coming to know. the town. We're giving some money back to the town. So has anyone ever seen such strange looking pumpkins? They're not called pumpkins, they're called or ornamental gourds. Yeah, get your gourds out. <laughs> but you would use them as like a pumpkin yeah, decoration, I wouldn't you? Make squash and stuff out, you? But only a pound each. Mm. Look nice all mounted up outside your front door, wouldn't they? So we're just going to the opposite end of Woodall Spa now on the high road. You can see an antique shop down here, Mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the bookends are there. Bookends. 
the doggy bookends that yeah. we keep seeing everywhere. Well, it's funny because we went somewhere and we were looking at clothes. Oh, in the charity shop, and they're a t shirt or a jumper with the two dog bookends on it, weren't they? Mm, yeah, you should have got it because we see um, them everywhere, don't we? Yeah, unbelievable. Sam for fish and chips as well, Mark. Where? Oh, yeah. What are you saying for tea? <laughs> So Chico's had enough walking, he's just refusing to walk anywhere else, so he's back in his space cage. Hi Cheeks. Oh, you do like it in there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so we're off. Is that alright? Yeah. We've got a bag from a charity shop in this, yeah. The world's smallest bag. We're trying to chuck all the shopping in it. Yeah, Chico absolutely loves his little case. Yeah, he's he's not like missing it. out, is he? No. He, like, he just sits there. Sits there looking. Yeah, he sits there looking while we're walking around looking at whatever we want to look at, right? So, Don't yeah. know what's down here. We have, we have still got his uh, stealth on, haven't we, chip shop? Oh, look, small fish and chips. It was shut, Mark, you just missed it. Yeah. We've passed a graveyard, but we didn't see a church, and now we know why. St Andrew's Church used to stand here in these grounds, but, what was it called, Mark? A, a, ret a retarded bomb. Came down got, yeah. on a parachute, hit the church and uh, totally annihilated it. Oh, but these bit, graves, yeah. some of them are from 1800s, aren't they? So these yeah. graves have been here, the church has yeah. been there, and the church has been blown up since. So they would have dismantled the remainder of it, and there's nothing left of it now. I can only assume it would have been in the middle of a graveyard. Yeah. So, it's Crackers, not very often it? we go somewhere, and there's not a church still remaining. So, no, you know, that's what that we that's what we wondered that something had happened, didn't we? Yeah, and this is on Sticks Wall Road here in Woodall Spa. And that's the bomb, one of the unexploded bombs. And they were capable of blowing windows in or out, whichever way you look at it, up to up to a mile away in radius, because they exploded as they hit the rooftops rather than it being cushioned by the ground and everything. That's what they're saying. So, just across from where we're stopping at Jubilee Park about 100 yards down the road is a hotel called Petwood mm. Hotel. Now the interesting thing about this is it was a home to Squadron 617 also known as the Dambusters. It used to be a military hospital and they had theatres and wards and things like that, all the injured got brought here. But what I'm interested in seeing is if you've ever seen the film The Dambusters. Yeah it's about this these bombs, bouncing bombs in it, the scientists mm. way way back developed this this chemical Bouncing bomb, bomb. Mm -hmm. which is able to bounce and bounce and bounce and damage a, a dam. <laughs> that <laughs> flooded a lot of people in Germany and yeah. killed a lot of people, but they've got a prototype of one up at Petwood Hotel still, so I'm intrigued to see that. That's where we're heading now. Yeah. So it's literally five minutes from where we're staying, isn't it? Yeah, it's just opposite the road, isn't it? My God, look at this when you come in, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So at least it uses like a temporary hospital, I suppose. But as you said, wasn't it? Because it was so near to where the base was in Conningsby and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. It's well looked after, isn't it? Look at these gardens. We look We're going to look around the gardens, aren't we? We call them Pito Gardens, whatever the Pito means. Pito? Pito Gardens, yeah. They look like the shapes of something. So we've seen a sign saying bouncing bomb this way. I wonder why it's landed. Why is it here? Probably the mark of a thing because it was a squadron that deployed it in Germany all them years ago, uh, and they were based at this air base down the down the road. So they, they fetched air base. It hadn't been made here or anything. Well, it was a it? prototype. You know, obviously we're never destined to be used. So. Well, what we went to see yesterday, that were amazing. What we, yeah. we saw, all we that, are. all them plane bits that Martin was on about, that being dug in, dug out of the ground. Where the, where the like Lancasters and things have come out, fallen out of the sky and uh, whatever, come down. But, like the engines were buried underground, weren't they? Yeah. Feet, feet underground, they dug them up over time and sort of put them on display. Wow! Look, one of the only remaining prototypes of the Barnes Wallace famous bouncing bomb. I thought it were round as in like a ball. And like I thought, well that's it done like that on Dambusters. I thought they were like balls, they're like more of a... Like a big oil drum, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Never seen one before, obviously. Wow. So it's a shame it's rusty, it looks like trying to preserve it, but it's outside. Has it been, is it a used bomb? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, there's nothing to it inside. Oh yeah, it's like, um, yeah, it's on a stand mark. We don't know how lucky we are. I know the world's not in great array at the moment, but... It was nothing like that then, were it? Just seen this pond here and I've just said to Mark that I think it used to be a swimming pool back in the day because they've got steps going into it. But now it looks like it's full of fish. Yeah, it's full of uh, toy carp. Well, two anyway, I wouldn't see. Three, one over there. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah. He's sticking his nails out. Oh, have, you got, yeah. have you got any bread? Yeah, I carry it around all the time with Mark. Just get it in my pocket for you. Nice bread. Have I got any bread? So that was Petwood Hotel and if you're into your history and your RAF and World War II memorabilia it might be worth coming here. Yeah, come here look at it, it's free, the grounds are everything, they're free to exploit and bring your dog can't you? You could come and stay if you really want to, really want to get a feel of the area. We're going to walk back into the village we've decided and get some nice fatigue yeah. from ooh, Sainsbury's what? get us. Chico's in the valley resting. He's knackered. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, he yeah. Quite a bit, didn't he? Now we're going to treat yourself. It's not on the Aldi, isn't it? Yeah. I feel well posh going into Sainsbury's. And if we don't see anything we like, you've already agreed that another Chinese. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. You're not having one. You had one last night. There's a kebab shop in the in the village. No, there isn't. Well, another bargain. Nectar at Sainsbury's. We yeah. forgot that Mark used to collect them when he used to get stuff on Amazon or eBay, eBay was it? eBay was, yeah. He obviously spent quite a lot of money. And we'd just gone through the checkout and it said Nectar card. So if you've got a Nectar card, yeah. he scanned it, it's paid for all shopping. Well, apart from 40p because it were odd when it eats yeah. balance of points. So, so cost us 40p. I've got a bag full of stuff. Pizza, garlic dip. Uh, mozzarella some, sticks. You've got some Vivera meat, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Fake meat. Um, so a bag full of shopping for 40p. Who knew it? Oh, and some chocolate as well. Oh yeah, and some Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good save that, isn't it? When yeah. you when you forget. I dread to think what I used to spend on eBay then. In that case. I love coming across things like that when you forget, and you get a like. I mean, it's paid for tonight's tea. I know. Can't beat it, can you? We're on our way again today. Where are we going? We don't know yet, do we? Well, we do, but we're not going to let you know until you find out on the next vlog. But yes, we have got some washing to do, aren't we still? So we're gonna go and find a laundry. So we don't wanna fetch you doing that, it's boring. If you've liked what you've seen this time, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next one.